as always, we do like to start out with a patron shout out. And this patron shout out does go to Bearcat, which is a cute name. It is um, two animals. Not to be confused with Bearback. No. Okay, gotcha. Or Catwoman. No. Yeah, or Brokeback Mountain. Or yeah. Be My Cat, a film for Anne. Yeah. <laughs> so, Don't Bearcat, thank you so much for being a patron and indulging in our fantasies, in our moments of pleasure and hatred and divine underestimation. There is a God where we are, and you shall see the Your light. God is not here, Michael. And I don't know what's happening, so thank you. I can just imagine you tack a screaming right now as I sing through this Help. screen. I don't believe this shit. Damn homosexuals. <laughs> oh, no, she's cancelled. Um, Thank you, Bearcat. All the best. Thanks. Welcome to the horror hour. Hello and welcome back to the Horror Hour, the place where we discuss, debate and disagree. On all things what? horror. What? I'm one of your co-hosts, George. I'm back. It's been two weeks and she's got Not a long enough. Feel uncomfortable. <laughs> she's got a good lip very balm uncomfortable. And she's ready. She's posted. And today yeah. I am joined by my fellow co-hosts. We have Liam. Hi. I'm also back after an extended break of not wanting to be here. Amazing. Um, <laughs> we have David. Yes, yes, yes. I, I was in Canary Islands, so just, you know, with Liam. And we were just having oh, did you go to Bunker? Yeah, yeah. Did good. you understand it's what very he just good, said? Especially if you go upstairs in the dark room. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or you can go downstairs in the basement in one of the cubicles. Well, no, because I don't want to run into Nick. Ah, uh, that is always a possibility. Mm, if yes. there is a sex place, Nick's going to be there. Speaking yeah. of our fourth and final co-host that's correct guys you heard that right nick has joined the dark side um we paid him an unlimited amount of money to force him to be here today so ladies and gentlemen please welcome the boo of um our lives nick hi (laughs) um let's see what can i say about well i be rapping i be tapping i be happen ning we say well come on you shut your ass <laughs> all right Fresh. oh dear <laughs> anyways and yutaka will be out for just nine months yeah. <laughs> yutaka was on. yutaka was here we actually start the episode um but he was filming for the new movie twisters um and his house has been taken up so we hope that he can maybe join us for the after hours should the power stay on and run should... past <laughs> yeah um, but unfortunately, as he is in America, the houses are made of wood. And so just whew, gone, gone with the wind, they should say. Talking of wind, another element is water. And today's episode is all about aquatic. Oh, God, I'm just so good at this. Aquatic horror. You you're clever, don't you? I do. <laughs> I'm excited I to do. talk. Squirt. Yes. Oh, Ooh. all of the noises. So, yes, today this was Nick's idea. He wants to talk. Apparently, it's like Shark Week, which I thought was like a really weird niche thing to try and link it into. But like. Well, there's a couple things. Um, It is Shark Week, um, but it is also the 24th anniversary of Deep Blue Sea. Oh, yes. What a random number. Lovely. And it's the 20th anniversary of? Your hysterectomy? Your whole? (laughs) A homosexual film that raised me, the sequel. Drop Dead Gorgeous. No. 20 years. What? 19... 2003. This is a movie that we both saw when we first bring it on in the hotel. Oh my god! Um, Angels? Part two. Part two. Oh, ah! right. Full throttle. Yeah. That, that's that's the one. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Damn. The more you know. Okay. Oh my god! And Demi Moore still looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways. She does that. She does well. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about all things water esque um, that is involved around the horror franchise. And Nick, seems it's your first episode as a co-host, and this was your idea. Why don't you take us off with your first pick? Okay. Let's Ooh. see. So my first pick is going to be a lovely 
award-winning film by the name of Zombievers. So this is Zombievers is one of those <laughs> movies where it's like a it's like a Sharknado type thing. Mm-hmm. Special shout out to Sharknado mm-hmm. and you know uh, Tara Reed's and Tara wobbly Reed. knees, <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, Zom Beavers is a movie that is about uh, a truck that is being driven by John Mayer mm-hmm. that contains a whole bunch of toxic waste and they hit a cow. The toxic waste goes into the river. I really lake. should stop just walking in the middle of roads. <laughs> and it infects a whole <laughs> bunch of beavers and turns them into Zom Beavers. And then when they bite people, they turn the person into a zombie beaver human Did hybrid. I a beaver? Listen, in a Did sense, be- okay. I've never sense, become a beaver. I've eaten plenty of beaver. Never become a beaver. You've eaten beaver? Oh, is that not food. a term for vaginas over in the US? Well, I just bang. don't think it's, a, it's anything you should be saying, to be honest. Uh, well, well. So, wait, wait but yes, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, when, when, <laughs> I showed it to David a couple weeks oh. ago, and his what life about the film? <laughs> it is. It is a movie that is not trying to be good. It is not mm-hmm. trying to be bad. It's just hilarious, and there is a joke in that movie where they're in one cabin getting attacked by the beavers and they're screaming and there's this old couple in the cabin a little bit away and she's looking out the window and she's like oh my god something's going on over there at that kid's cabin and the husband is like oh it's probably just those kids scissoring each other to lady gaga it's amazing it's amazing y'all highly recommend yeah i've never seen it i've always seen like the poster and stuff but i've never i thought it was a bit like too stupid but is it like if it embraces that oh my god it embraces it like yeah. it it knows what it is and it's it's so good but i will say that boyfriend <laughs> we got to talk about why you guys are attracted to me i'm like <laughs> somebody want to that is dick so fucking good it is so good oh um, my god okay that one i didn't expect to pop up today but thanks nick zombie be- I... beavers same um let's go to somebody talking of beavers liam I um so for my so first. So do you pick, eat them when they're on their period, or do you, I, I'm confused? Free lube. Oh, oh yeah, around. Oh yeah. yeah. Better than tea is. Um. Or she. You, well, well, it depends on. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, well, less you, friction. Yeah, exactly. And also, yeah, when it's almost yeah. like capsules that explode as it like, because some you know the chunks a little bit. Plus, kind of like as you're mm. going and it kind of like flows and it kind of like you know when you're sprinkling like when you're hitting it from it's the really back good when like... they get stuck in your teeth and well, then no, later on you're like but it's even better oh, because when you're hitting mm. it from the back and it just squirts Baby. out and you just like hear that you know welcome nick huh? um <laughs> oh i hear this shit on a daily basis um uh... god so for my first Lame. pick i'm yes. gonna go with the underrated 2020 classic underwater horror underwater Oh, with um, with Bella Swan, Kristen Stewart, yes. Yeah. Um, so I don't think this film got as good of a chance as it deserved to have. Did it come out? I can't actually remember when it came out in twenty twenty. It did it. Was it supposed to come out like just just as the pandemic was starting, and then got pushed, and then still just went out on digital? I think so. There was something with it, though. I think that there was a bunch of delays with it prior, and I know, like, the thing with mm. the ending was added in after the fact that wasn't in the script. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's on Netflix, okay. or is it on um, Disney Plus here? I saw it on something the other day. I don't know what y'all talking about. I think it's on Disney Plus here. You know what underneath is. Have you not Underwater. underwater. Oh, underwater. <laughs> Sorry, underneath is where I usually am. Um... Liam, what is uh, Underwater about? Tell so me. Underwater is about a crew on an underwater research facility <laughs> that gets hit by an earthquake. And with the earthquake, it turns out it was not an earthquake. But it was an earthquake. But could it have been something else? Who knows? But we'll find out 
Um, oh, it's based on a short film. Yeah. Interesting. Sure. I didn't know that either. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. If you can forget the fact that TJ Miller's in it. Um, who is that man? Who? Oh, hey, TJ Miller. From... Oh, from, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is he? He was in, um, oh, you'll, um, he's the voice that the, the, he was the in one that hold, is holding the camera in Cloverfield. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Huh. Yeah. yes sir. Um, do we not like yeah. him? Then he d- um, he did he, things. Oh. What did he do? Things. It, things against women. So as gays, we have to support the women. Um, mm-hmm. Barbie should have told you all of this, David. You should know by now. Um, I but to know. No, so. I know why. Uh, so no. It's like my ears are bleeding. So Shut up! Shut up! Sorry. Okay. Underwater. Yeah. So yes, drilling in the in the Ooh. marina trench. Shit goes down. There's Kristen Stewart, Vincent Cassel. I don't know how to say his French name. Um, it's French. I don't need to know. Um, and Jessica Henwick as well was also is also really good in it. Oh, Vincent Cassel. Um, <laughs> I was like, there we go. Yeah, from from uh, oh. The, the, oh, from Black, Black Swan. Swan. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Attack it! Attack um, it! Sure. I found them oddly um, arousing in them. Oh, absolutely, one hundred. Yeah, like, oh, it was the nose. Odd. for me. It was the nose. And he's I in something it, else. Um, the one that I got gets me with him is uh, Lehan. Oh, from ninety five. Revs, revs my engine. Oh, um, yeah, black and white, black and white French film. Pretty good. Um, okay. but yes. It just, there's things are happening. They're all going to die underwater. Can they get out? Who knows? It's so You'll good. You'll find out. I will watch it. I was about to watch it's it the other really day, and then I was me. like, oh, I'll put Scream 2 on. So I didn't watch it. But I mean, that's a valid lifestyle <laughs> choice. But underwater it's... is so good. Okay. Uh, like aquatic horror yeah. is one of, it's probably my, well, other than slasher, it's like my favorite subgenre, but it scares the f- out of me. Like David knows, I don't like like open water or oceans. I'll, Very claustrophobic. You know, I have a, a Christmas, like a, um, a birthday gift for him next year. That's You can keep Ooh. it. Bitch. You're going to Australia to die. You, you see how he treats me? Like, I want y'all to know, then, like, this is how he treats me. Yeah, yeah. Like, you all make this out to be, like, this beautiful relationship, but it's really Harley Quinn and the Joker, and it's sad. Who's who? Vote down below, Nick's guys, Harley. in the comments. Let us know. Um, I am Margot. Nick's, you are Nick's got more. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold the f- Oh, what? Jared Leto, yes. <laughs> oh. I am. I am. George, sensible... you you are one of them weird people that would join his cult. I would join if they had good merch. I would join any cult. Oh my god! Right, give like, me three I... square meals a day, and let me go on an island. Sure. And also, Where's... like, we get like accommodation. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking the other day. I was like, th- do you ever think sometimes? Just sorry, this just random thought before I go to you, David. Like, I was mm. sitting on the bus or the train the other day, and I was thinking, like, do you ever think that like there's somebody out there that's probably like young or being born that's going to be murdered, or somebody's out there now who's like their their end of their life is going to be that they're murdered? It's just so sad. Chopped up in a suitcase. Yeah, where like, you're you know... going, your life. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys I'm... ever think about dying? <laughs> Well, dying I mean, to death. Well, yeah. Well, like, do you not think like you will? Have start, like, well, you know, it could be anyone. Like, and they they don't know that they're gonna be like murdered or kidnapped or something. When I visited my best friend in Austin, we went out to the gay bars, and he was telling me it was like a week later or something. There's this one apartment complex directly across the street from one of the bars that we were at. And he was like, he's like, it, it was all on the news and everything. This guy met up with this guy from Grinder and went into the apartment and they have it on security footage. They go into the two people go into the apartment and then not the guy that lives in the apartment, but the hookup about maybe like, I don't know, an hour and a half later comes out of the apartment suddenly with a like a rolling suitcase and I've gets in their taxi yeah. and leaves. That motherfucker was chopped up in the suitcase. That so, stuff yeah. is crazy. George, you like Lana next... said, sometimes you're born to die, you know? <laughs> Let me take a walk on the wild side. I didn't mean for that. Oh, George. You see, you see what you no. did? Yeah, there you go. Because you, you, know, you know Adina? You know Adina? Adele? 
Um, What's that song she got out? <laughs> oh, my, I don't know, but it's worse than anything that's ever been on Drag Race. Like, girl, who is that song for? Who for the it? gays. Or... It's not for the gays. <laughs> they don't care. They want to see her in green or I... dying of AIDS. Like, they don't want to see anything in between. Oh. AIDS. She didn't have AIDS. Oh, didn't she? Five hundred twenty-five thousand. No. You never saw Rent. No, I started it, but I I, she was in it, Rent. so I turned it off because I'm not watching something. I'm not listening to her voice screech through a song. David, any thoughts on your first pick for Underwater, other than me being drowned by yourself? Yes. Well, mine's is a little bit different than Underwater. Mm-hmm. Mine's is called Death Ship from 1980. <gasps> yes. Because these are my all my references are from mostly from the 80s, so. <laughs> I, I'm not a big I'm not a big water sports kind of guy, so it. this was a little bit hard for. Ah, uh-huh. uh, yeah. I sent you like 20 <laughs> options last night, bitch. <laughs> I know, but I was like, but then I remembered the movies that I had seen, and I was like, okay, well, this I remember this. Wait a minute, don't get upset. <laughs> you Your see? tone seems very pointed right now. It's, he's like, oh wait, yeah, 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 he's very aggressive towards me. Um, anyways. <laughs> Um, mine's is Death Ship, and mm-hmm. it basically starts off as like this cruise ship, and it's like going beautifully, like it's gorgeous and all that stuff. And then they hit something, and then the it's like a Titanic, basically. And so a bunch of a couple of people survived, and they're like on the raft, and they're like hopeless. They're like just tired, you know, all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, a black, a big black ship just passes by them, and then they think it's, they're like there for help, but the, what they don't realize is that it's a sea ship that's haunted. And Ooh. um, yeah, it's not. It's, it's actually quite disturbing because there's a scene that so they just they, so they just go in and there's like starts getting this this one guy that gets possessed by the um Thanks. kind of Hitlerish kind of vibe. <laughs> um, okay. so oh. and there's like a bunch of like experiments that are going on, but there's this one scene. There's this guy that's running away from, like he's just basically like they're just trying to hunt him down, and then he falls into like this. There's a, the ship, and then in the middle of the ship, there's like this tank of filled with black water, and then he falls in, and then what? It's almost like the the main guy picks like uh lifts it up, and it's like you know when you're picking up fish, and it's just like all the fish just come up like a yeah. net. It's basically when he picks it up, it's basically like dead people, like a bunch of like bodies and all that stuff, and then he just drops the thing down and lets him drown. It is one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie because it's so yeah. disturbing to watch because he like it almost like his. The way he's acting, it almost feels like they didn't tell him that there was gonna be like bodies down there. Like he's very, really like, like... It, yeah, like he's very disturbed by what's going on, and so it's basically like just them trying to survive these not these these this haunted ship, and things aren't don't they don't end the best, but um, it's very entertaining. It's a great movie, and it's a, and it's free on YouTube. I've seen the poster because I always thought, oh, is it like Let is that what inspired poster. Ghost Ship? Because like you know, it's like the kind same of what's it called ship? Death Ship. Yeah, Death Ship, nineteen eighty. Mm-hmm. Passengers come in, but they never come out. Mm-hmm. I know that feeling. Oh, Sally Ann House is in it. I'm and sure that's a cool from, poster. And thing from uh, Naked Gun. He's the one that gets possessed. Ooh, that po- oh, that poster. Ooh, I scary. might watch that tonight then. Yeah, yeah. Tonight, cute to watch. You. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very that's, much, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a scene where the woman gets like boils on her. It's very disgusting. Like, it's a very creepy movie. I don't like it. Mm. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. Oh, it's no, on Prime it. here. It's a free on YouTube, it's, he said. Is that on Arrow? I never... Where it's did that even... What was on Arrow? Arrow. One, of never, y'all, one of y'all brought it, was it up. Liam and I can't... kept bringing it up that it was on... I've never heard of it. I said something <laughs> was on Arrow. I said something was on Arrow. It's like a streaming service. Of, a streaming service over there? Or is it a channel? Know, we don't really know. Liam just made it up and now... <laughs> oh, so he just... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I've been just saying, walking around, just saying... No, I think it is somewhere. It releases video. It releases stuff over here. Yeah, it's like just a girl. gotcha. Anyway, all right, right okay, gotcha. so all right, Gail. Um, so my first pick, um, Gail. that's the one, Gail. Um, I said to him when he was watching Scream Six, and he was going, Gail, Gail, Gail. I kept Gail! thinking he was he was Get saying the like parachute, bitch. What's that from? Is that I from hate, a, a gay film? I hate that he knows no. That's what he the says. Entire video when, of oh when, when she gets attacked. Uh, I know yeah. every single word to to that scene to from that scene. his reaction. <laughs> Just a hateful bunch of that's what was, oh, Listen, yeah. you should have been in the cinema with Liam next to you when he thought that Gail's about to die because it was like the greatest moment ever. His face was like I was, was so I was so annoyed when they said she's got a weak pulse. I was like, girl, like don't tell us now. 
I knew they were not. Okay. That was bad writing. Anyway, moving on. Um, Scream yeah, 7. A bunch so of... 12, um, my first one is 12 Feet Deep. Um, 2017 movie about two sisters. I thought that was your only fans. Yeah. Um, a film about two sisters who go swimming. Norge forever. Well, after this week, this past weekend, apparently his only fans is Coco Pebbles, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I don't... don't you hate it when they come out like that, though? And then you almost like, like the dog back from in your Barbie. Ass. Yeah, and then it sprinkles back in your ass. <laughs> and you're like, oh. uh-uh. Or when you're like, when you're taking a sh- and it feels like you're like uh, uh, pushing out like a Volkswagen and then you look down and it's just like a couple of little tiny like rabbit turds. That'll... And then you have the other kinds where it just like slides out and it just it, it's just so easy. And then you look down and you're like, how did I push an entire watermelon out of me? I don't understand. Well, but sometimes I can't be friends with you anymore. Well, I can't be friends with George. George, I yeah, you be, well, after like you've this, this, becoming, I was no, no, after, after he became friends with you guys, like he's been, like. I'm not even lying. Like sometimes I have to hang up on him because he's like he gets wild. Like I don't like Just that. I don't like that. Yeah, vulgar, vulgar. Like his favorite song. Um. Anyways, the point is it must that... be so difficult when you're such a precious princess like you. You were on the phone with me last night, and you were like Amber Heard for president. Do you have a history of mental illness? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so 12 Feet Deep from 2017 yeah. is a film about two sisters who go swimming in a swimming pool. One of them drops their ring, so they go, or something, so they go down to the bottom of the thing. And when they come back up, the top of the pool has been put on. And they've you got about shut the f- up. they've got about this much of water, and they're stuck underneath this met this like plastic. I've never seen it. It's really good. Oh, like somebody was tweeting about minutes. that the other day. So good. It's very much picture. like fall style. Like so, they're stuck. They've got about this much water. Like oh, uh, and they've got like and the rest is this plastic sheet, and they can't get out. And it's like one little hole. They're trying like get the hand out. Um, and like then, like, Denise some, Richards. Yeah. They're very much like that. It's really, really good. And obviously, mm-hmm. like the, but then the, they turn like I don't want to spoil it because it's like other people involved and like somebody like tries to come to help, but then like it's kind of a bit of a not helping. And so more things happen, like where they turn off the heat in the pool and they're basically like freezing to death and they can't keep. Like it's, I really recommend it even just to watch it. Um, if you guys you know, haven't seen it, you know what I'm trying to figure out. I have to go back into because um, horror band I get started doing their lives on mm-hmm. Sunday. And I w- walked in late, but there was they were watching this like short or a trailer where it was like this kid. It was like really hot, and then he goes into like this neighbor's pool that is like empty, and then he jumps in. But when he jumps in, it's like it looks beautiful and blue and all that stuff. But then when he goes in, it's like black, and then when he jumps out, it's like back to normal. But then he goes down, and then he looks back, and it's black. But there's like a creature in there. It is. It, I walked in late on that live, and like I had to like tap out because I was like, "What the? F-? It was crazy." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have I to go know. back and see what it, what it would look like. Know what that is, it reminded yeah. me of yeah. like that. Yeah, but this is really good. Like, because obviously it's not as open as the open water. You can see everything that's like going on. Is obviously the size of the pool, but it's just the idea of being like stuck with about this much water, like where you're trying yeah. to like stay awake for like twelve. But then I think it's like something like where it's a holiday and they're like the pool's closed tomorrow. Like nobody's here. Like very much like frozen. Um, like nobody's going to be here for a few days. So it's really good, and they're like them trying to get out of of the pool basically um which sounds not, stupid as a concept but it's only like an hour and 20 minutes it's really short but it i i was like no that sounds anxiety inducing yeah why? it's very much why didn't they just swim to the shallow end well they can but they still can't get out because there's a massive met like but then then they don't need like swim because i don't think there's like it's it's like a, it's like a proper sports olympic pool so it's not really like three feet and then nine feet like it's all like the same thing around like it's supposed to be like a sports thing so there is no shallow end in the shallow, shallow. Oh, who's na- so my back, life i'm like a jukebox so nick what's your second Ooh. pick um i am going to go with a movie called lake placid mm-hmm. starring betty the white Not this betty was actually the first thing that i ever saw of betty white but what? lake placid you so much like yeah me. blake lake placid is a movie about a lake where it is infested what? with a crocodile informative and a big a big crocodile and betty white raised how big it. is it just short of seven do you want the hex inside you anyway. anyways um 
Um, no, it is. It is hilarious. So it's like a. It is a. <laughs> It is a horror movie, but I would say it's more like action adventure horror with a lot of comedy em- elements in it. Because uh, who who else is in it? Bridget Fonda. Yes. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, I'm forgetting because I can remember that in one of the sequels, Roxanne something Pallet Platt in it. George. Something Platt. Ben oh, really? Platt. Be- no, not Ben uh-huh. Platt. The other I one. love that video. I was. Oh my god! What? I don't remember his name. But I anyways, it's hilarious. Oh my god! He he tried to attack me. And Betty White is absolutely Actually, outstanding. Bill Pullman, Oliver Bill Pullman. Platt, Oliver Platt, Brandon that's Gleason. It. But Betty White has the line that she says to the cop, where she says, "If I was a man, this is the point where I would tell you to suck my dick." <laughs> and it was Golden. so weird to me when I first started watching Golden Girls, and I was like, "This, no, this is not the same person." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well. Well, he knows this, but he was because she was supposed to play Blanche, but then she was she didn't want to be like typecast because been the Mary Tyler Moore show a couple years ago. She was playing the hypersexual, so they sleeping with everybody in the office, so she wanted to switch it up. So, yeah. Oh. But yes, highly recommend this movie. I mean, it it, it I it's not like a billion dollar box office movie, but it was popular enough that it's got, it's kind of like wrong turn in the sense where it has like, like four six or, or five sequels, doesn't it? Yeah, something sequels. It has like there is a sequel. I'm fairly certain it is Lake Placid versus Anaconda. So I'm it's like one that. of those like old school direct yeah. videos. Yeah, that's Lake one. Placid. Okay, I've always seen. Yeah, I've always seen the poster for it again, but I've never. Oh, you never seen that? No, no, no. Oh. I've seen Anaconda. It's actually really fun. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, but Lake Placid. Yeah, Anaconda was... Blood for. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. That it's was the one so... that I used to own. Because we talked about this last time, because remember I said that I thought the person in the end, I, when they cut the woman out of the snake and asked if she was still alive, but they said she wasn't. Um, in real life, when they cut the woman out of the snake. You at uh, wait a minute. My God. You asked in 2015. If she was still alive. Yeah. And it has Robert England. But I thought like it would take like it, until she <laughs> yes. was dead, because they cut her out very quick. I thought like they'd be waiting for her to like, she'd still be in there, just like dip a bit like. <laughs> the old lady that got swallowed by the anaconda? Yeah, I thought she was still alive. She passed away. No. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would imagine the stomach acid would have got her pretty quickly. Or the oh, God, it would be like, nope. When they're going up the... I hate Ooh. that. The asshole? Yeah. yeah. And they're like getting all... And it's like... I know that noise. Anyway, Liam, oh. what's your next pick? My oh next my one. Is... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> going I just got the be... flashback to Anna. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Meg. Okay. Never seen it. There's Nick another one like coming it. out, isn't there? I saw the trailer. Oh my god, yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't um, watched the trailer for it. It's only like two weeks. It, I'm very excited. Just more Jason Statham versus a giant shark. I'm always going to be down for this. Um, I think the first one was such a surprise. In it, like falls in line with like the Fast and the Furious films, where like you're not watching it going, "This is peak cinema." Stop thinking but you're about watching it going, him. Right. this is such a, a fun ride. Stop thinking about it. Because it's just like so over the top. <laughs> Stop thinking about him. I, like, I oh, can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got high. Um, <laughs> you just go and cool off <laughs> in the shower, dear. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. It, it's just such an over the top premise. Like, no, no, this giant shark isn't coming from an uncharted land in the bottom of the sea. But all right, let it come. Whatever. Um, like, like, surely the science is like wrong. In this, well, based on the trailer that the I've one seen thing for the is, too, mm. where he's just swallow like the thing just swallows a whole community. And <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I think I might love this movie. Yeah, like, I, it's, it's just like, gotta watch it. I think yeah, yeah. I think you would enjoy. You, have you seen the first one? No, I haven't seen any of them. I have it on my list, though. No, I think I think you. Sh- I, yeah, I think you would enjoy it. Like, yeah. after it's a forty-seven mix of meters down, I've just been getting like Meg, 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 Fast Meg. and Furious. Like, it's kind of like Piranha. Right Maybe street. not as funny, but it's like Piranha, oh, okay, the newer okay, okay. one. Gotcha, mm. gotcha. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's also got Ruby Rose as a scientist for some reason. Oh, she's so hot. Wait, wait, wait. It has what Ruby more Rose... do you want? Ruby Rose as what? A scientist. A scientist. Oh, that looks like Ruby Rose. <laughs> oh, it's not Ruby Rose. 
No, it it, it no. It's like she's not no, like no, herself. It's Ruby like, Rose. Tell me oh. a scientist that looks like Ruby Rose. Well, yeah. Oh, also, John tell Wick. me why oh, John Wick. someone thought you know, like I like Ruby Rose, but Ruby Rose plays one thing, and mm-hmm. she cannot play anything else. And people need to stop trying to allow her to branch out. Or she can't. Just, I feel like her and John just let Wick her be Emma like, Roberts. Yeah, her and John Wick was like. Sorry, I didn't like, fucking oh. mention her name in the stream. Yeah. You He's just he's just throwing the Emma Roberts bomb around like it's no problem. Like, excuse me, she is an actress. Because of... it is no problem. She um, she has Os- she sh- she should have won an Oscar for Scream Four, and that's a fact. That's you need a fact. To sit down. Um, I am sat. Did her parole officer tell you that? Was she nominated for? I wonder. I want to go back if she was nominated for Coven. And Coven. She should. No, been. she wasn't nominated. No, because it was no. every everyone else was Jessica Lange and yeah, Kathy Bates. Je- and... Well, because Jessica Lange and Kathy Bates won. Won. And but Kathy Bates and Angela ba- Angela Bassett were nominated in the same category. Yeah. So that season was stacked with nominate like yes. yeah. And Angela Bassett's least favorite character. I mean, and, not Angela Bassett, just, um, Jessica, Jessica Lange, 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 which is insane she doesn't like that to me. Yeah. She I'm like, like bitch, you played that shitty one in the land of gods and monsters, and you want to say that bloody anyway. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought her her uh when she did David Bowie, that was my favorite in one. Oh my god. Mars. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Um. So yes, well, I cents. would recommend <laughs> Meg. Meg, because it is a fun romp under the sea. You never like. You never get to a point where you're like. With usually with short films, you're like, oh. Every mm-hmm. time like something like just comes out of the dark, I don't think it's ever like. And you never get to a point where you're like gonna shit yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel you're like gonna have a good time. There's one scene. Where the little girl uh, with the the, with the ball, toy, the ball. Yeah, yeah, that scene. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I could see that one. A little bit in the theater, but other than that, yeah. Little girls, little down. girls everywhere. No, it's ten- not. Uh, I, oh my God, George, this is not your moment. This is my moment. This is my perfect moment. Um, you David, like the first two episodes of each season of American Idol. You know what happens in those first two episodes. You go into Hollywood. Dreams come true, Nicholas. I am the woman. What's or her name? Shattered. Mary. <laughs> you know that Mary who was on American Idol a few years ago, who was like, "I feel the earth move, sand on my feet." You know, you, feel... you know who you are. You're Ariel. Oh, your yeah. realistic vocal coach. First of all, let's sort this out. I'm not a number. Not Ariel, the Little Mermaid. It's a, it's a, a woman who is on the X Factor. She sadly. Oh. Um, she's not. She's not a number. She is. She has a name. So are you going to follow her footsteps? Holistical vocal coach. <laughs> anyway, d- thanks for the. I didn't think anyone could speak about the film, the Meg, so much. Thank you, um, David. What's your next pick? Well, mine is also from the eighties, and it's called Alligator, and it is one of my. Fa- it's one of my favorite. Honestly, it really is one of my favorites because they actually kill in this movie, and that always tickles me. Like, there's a scene. Like so, basically, it's like this ele- ele- elevator, this alligator, <laughs> this, <laughs> this alligator that is like was thrown into the sewers when it was pretty little, and then it was started to eat like other shit that they could find in the sewers, and they would throw like experiments and all that stuff down, down in the sewer, mm-hmm. and so it would consume it. And oh, sh- her bandwagon post, the scream queen reaction. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> um, so uh, what you call it? So it grows into like uh, over, I think it was like two thousand pounds or something like that. It's huge. And so it makes its way up to the city. And so it starts killing everybody in sight. And But there's this scene that I love that is like, well, there's two scenes, but there's one where the alligator goes into like a kid's birthday party. And so it goes into the backyard, into the pool. And so then the the kids start playing and they're like, they kind of bully this kid into like um like the, uh, the plank thing when they like push him over the... And so when they turn on the lights, they realize that as soon as they push them, there's an alligator in the, in the pool. And then all you see is just like bubbling up into like blood. And it's like just devouring the kid. It is one of the coolest scenes because it's like the, you, the mom is just watching the kid get killed. It's hilarious. Anyways, and then there's a scene where he breaks into like a a, uh, a wedding. It's hilarious. Like he just makes his way through the city into different occasions. Like it's like um, what's that thing called? Uh, the weddings and a funeral. Like Debbie does Dallas. Like he's just going through different like locations, and he's just like, oh yeah, it's like Barbie does this, Barbie does that. <laughs> it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why it. you can't. That's why I don't step on the the sewer grates, David. You know this. 
in the cities. I don't I step it. on the sewer grates. I love it because I there don't... are alligators in the sewers. Yeah. <laughs> I cool. think a, a snake's going to come up out of my toilet and eat my ass. Look it up. No, not in not in the UK. Could have happened when you were in Florida, though. Oh, in Florida? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Anyways, um, in, um, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a great movie. It's not as long. It's very campy. Very 80s. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Alligator. Okay, so my next one... Oh my god! Is a 2012 movie. Um, Maybe found don't found put your stomach away from the from the desk. It don't ship the girl. It was my knee. Oh, okay. Sorry. Ooh, I wonder if I know which one you're gonna pick. You do you because you've watched it. Because I, I, I made was gonna you. say there's a couple on my list that you made me watch. <laughs> it's The Bay. So The Bay is a found footage movie. Mm-hmm. Um, about it's in similar vein, I suppose, to like cabin fever in a way, but it's a bit more extreme. Um, about a an infection that gets into a water source in a small um, town in America, and everybody becomes ill. Um, and like getting infected and lots of lots of boils. So you'd really like it, David. Lots of boils and like exploding, like all the pus is coming everywhere, and um, like there's a lot going on. So like, and then you see all the little creatures and the, like it just it gets like to an extreme level, like basically lots of parasites and it's all to do with like i, I can't actually can't remember so about like they were pump they were pumping the chicken sh- into the into the river and so they've been putting like spraying the chickens or something with some sort of like thing to make the eggs better or something and then like they were sh- or something. yeah like a steroid and they were sh- it out into the water and it was going into the into the water purifier and not being purified and making everybody severely ill and it's also similar to the crazies as well like they some people like start to like oh! that's so good um and similar to that where like they like some people like start to kill themselves and stuff because they're like dying and but it's australian right oh no american sorry i don't know why i thought it was australian hi ken um it's a really good film i enjoyed it i think you enjoyed it did you nick i can't remember oh yeah i've i've, I've enjoyed literally every single movie except Apart one from can i just say i screenshotted a bit when on one of the i think it was um the houses October built where I so I can always have it in my life where Nick says, you know, George always comes through with these found footage films. Like I thought I knew about found footage, but George knows about found footage. And I was like, oh my God. I, I don't nice. drag you like the rest of the world. I don't know. Do I know. I appreciate it. You need to stop. Because if you look look what you have done, he thinks he can get away with doing stuff like what he's been doing today. Is that fun for you, Nicholas? Don't blame me. Blame his parents. I'm going down. I yell at Timber. Well, blame see, the na- but here's the thing. Don't blame the, the parents. The singing. Blame the nanny. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> there was a few. Um, I was a bit like Courtney Kardashian's kids. So Rosa. Always... Yeah, because he was... Um, the, some, the people were saying that in prom night, I would have been Wendy. Because like when she's talking to the nan or something. Wendy. And... Wendy. I love Wendy's, by the way. Sorry, go Who on. Was? I got an update from Utaka. <gasps> The power is still not back on, and now there's no AC. Wait, I can lose weight from the sweating. That's not how that works. Um, Peer company says, power company. Peer com- power company says it will be another two hours. Okay. Damn. We miss you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Bye. Rest in Anyways, peace. You tap us power. I hope you enjoy being cow in the storm. So how you think that you, you would be from the inside of a tornado? So you think... think that you would be Wendy? They know that Yutaka is like you be Wendy because the way he speaks to like she speaks to her grandmother or something she says like and never and oh, then I was like yeah, this would be George a... with the help. When who Wendy who? From Wendy prom, from prom the night. The red dress. She looks stunning. She was the... So we have to talk about the fact like I was like Jamie Lee she Curtis, gets great, but that no, she's the one that hides in the car. The chase, the chase, but she has the chase scene. Yeah, she yeah. Has the, the chase gotcha. scene. That, yeah, that was the a great, dress. really great chase scene. Really I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. But um, Jamie Lee Curtis's dress. Who put her in oh that? no, I wasn't. Well, I mean, compared to Wendy, because Wendy was the Wendy, yeah, ate them up. So I was like, it was very interesting to watch. But I love that dance sequence with her. Oh, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, I want to go to an eighties prom theme. Like I really do. Maybe I you should do it for your for your fortune. I'm gonna find it. Just your life. a disco, oh. like an actual disco. Y'all hit D- David's face the one time I was in the car with him, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play something, and I put on the prom night soundtrack he almost slid out of the car i nutted all over his car 
I we have to stop and just wipe it. He off had to get my car detailed. Yeah, because <laughs> my cum just burned through all the yeah. the acid. Yeah, that'll happen. It is so is um that soundtrack y'all and stripper. Even the songs that aren't featured in the movie but are featured in the soundtrack are divine. It's coming. The killer is coming. Shut up. They were so annoying. They're all going to laugh at you. And they did. <sighs> they did. Um, I Sorry, but anyway, The Bay, great film if you like fan footage. If you don't, f*** out. Um, it's a really good film. And yeah, <laughs> peace to the people. Over to Nick for your third and let's say final pick. So pick one that you like. I have like seven. Um, that sounds like a you problem. I know. Oh, your mother <laughs> shops at Saks. Well, I'm gonna try to slip in a more a couple more before we end. But but <laughs> you said that. I'm before. going to go with oh because f- there's like three. Is that really noise ring a bell, David? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> That one, that one tickled me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with Deep Blue Sea because it's the 24th anniversary. I'm a little fish in a deep sea. Deep Blue Sea, if you have not seen it, it was, I believe it was 1999. And it is a movie about where they are on a research station in the ocean and they are experimenting on sharks trying to come up with a cure for Alzheimer's. And one of the scientists had secretly been like giving David the shark stimulants or something. What was that? Which enlarged their brains. (laughs) What? 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 I think gave gave the sharks um, like stimulants to to grow the brain, (laughs) which in turn made the sharks smarter. Smart. So it's got a stacked cast. It's got Tom Jane. It's got one of the scars guards. It's got um, Samuel Jackson. It's got LL Cool J. Yeah. Which scars guard? The dad, not not Pennywise or uh, or Stellan. Um but it is the, uh, uh, there is a scene when I was in theaters. There is a scene in the movie where the shark has gotten somebody into the water, right? And they're like strapped to a gurney. And there's this room and it's got this big ass glass just looking into the ocean, right? And all of a sudden you see something in the distance and it's the f-ing shark. And it's got the guy in, still strapped into the gurney in its mouth. And it's coming towards the glass. And it throws the Scars Guard guy into the glass in order to break the glass. So you're just in this room with this like 200 foot tall glass just looking into the ocean. And you see it start to like crack. I started to crack. That, oh, I'm going to throw it. Do it, do it, do it. You're disgusting. Oh, Open your mouth. Make it wet. Make it wet. Um... But it, it is so good. It is so good. It is such a fun movie. The The effects, in my opinion, still hold up. The sharks are scary as shit. Plus, it's kind of cool because it's not great whites, which is what they normally use. It's uh, tiger sharks and mako sharks. So they look worse. Oof, oof. And there's like three sequels or something, but they're not good. Yeah, I've never I've uh, never invested in uh, diving into the sequels because I'm just like... Diving? I don't want them tainting... Yeah, the, but yeah. but you've seen Deep Blue Sea? I don't want them tainting anything. Have you seen Deep Blue Sea, Liam? Have you seen it? Obviously. It's so good. Obviously. That was, my, that was one of my picks. Um, mm. But I'm glad you said it, because that means I can go with my other one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'll be trying to think. Who are you seducing? Oh. oh. All of you, obviously. Any, oh. Anyone who'll have him? <laughs> Group event. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, sketchy who, sex. Who would survive? Who would be the last one standing out of us four in an orgy? Me. Yeah. Look at the size of me. <laughs> Five pumps, and I'll be like, right, I'm going for it now. Five <laughs> pumps. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the after hours. This is the after hours. Um, Liam, what's oh, your Oh dear. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I um, question. What's your thoughts on the electricity kitchen scene? I like it. It's not. I don't think it's the most tense scene in the movie. I think it's probably like of it's the set up. pieces. It's the least tense. You're talking about where she takes off the wetsuit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's illogical, but it's. I mean, I like it. 
<laughs> I didn't know yeah. that just... if it, have you ever watched you the the TV show on Netflix? No. Oh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You, well, you've watched it, David. Um, the season with Love and Forty. Yeah. But have you seen Deep Blue Sea, David? Yes. The 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 scientist, the redheaded scientist. That's Love and Forty's mom in you. The I cute one, the second one with the long hair that she wanted to. Yeah, go. and she's oh, always shit. trying to everybody. I did not know that that was the same person. So I was gagged when I looked it up. Oh shit! Also, aged. can I just say an alligator? For, sorry, I had to just run out of me. There's an actress for any Buffy fans. I don't know if they're watching. I don't know. <laughs> In season one, there's an episode <laughs> with the witch with the cheerleading squad. Is it the mom? The mom is yes. in the oh! yeah. <laughs> Liam, are you going to say yours now? Because you've been like edging yeah. us for the last five minutes to so tell us. I was just gonna... asking a question. Jesus, we'll mark that co- that edging conversation for the last. You, if yeah. you can, ha- if you can have forty little segues into your shitty singing, I can ask Nick a question. Question. Tell me what you think about Kane. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm doing a two for one so I can just finish out my list and I am doing Piranha 3D and Piranha Double D <laughs> because as a collection them Piranha films are um how do I, high camp shall we say high camp that's yeah. I'm gonna go with it um because unhinged who, demented who, who, yeah yeah. Who knew that a porn water ballet would be with just women would be so intriguing? Oh, audiences oh. weren't ready for that. It's been so long since I've no. seen this film. So. No, it's so good. No I used to have them on DVD. I was, really? I was obsessed with it. For, oh yeah, the first one. I, when I used them. to go to Best Buy and buy all my DVDs, I would go. Yeah, I was spending a lot of money. The, uh, the 3D glasses one, in them. Or wait, not? wait, but the one that came with 3D with the glasses was um uh, Valentine. Oh, uh, so, um. My bloody Val- my bloody Valentine. Yeah, yeah, that one I remember again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and Spy Kids 3D. Anyway, so <laughs> Spy Kids 3D. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I never got those DVDs. Oh, I, I never watched them. Yeah, probably, you're um, probably a bit older then. And I, I'm still to this day devastated that we did not get a third one. Triple D. Triple D. <laughs> Triple D. If it, like the way. Oh my God! Then uh, Guy Fieri would have stopped, made a, a cameo. <laughs> Yeah, and then he gets like f-ed up. That would be so cute. I see it. Yeah, that would have been it. in. Yeah, um, like when they ended it with just like the uh, with Christopher Lloyd gate, they can walk, and then yeah, it's just it the is fish. so stupid. <laughs> I went out with pool. <laughs> was it the first or the second one where Jerry O'Connell? That was the sick. Was it the oh, Jerry O'Connell? The first one. The first, the first one. one. Yeah, the Dick's Jerry O'Connell. Okay, Jerry O'Connell gets his dick. Kappa. Yeah, beta, beta. he gets his. D- I just he gets his decided dick back in the first to one, myself. And then the second, oh my <laughs> God, he's going again. Jo- Nick, why do you keep doing that? I, uh, I, and then uh, I have to like think second- more about what it. I say. No, no, he likes uh, it. He li- I know he likes it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be quiet. Go on. Double, it's Piranhas. Chaotic energy. Yeah, Piranhas. And then you've got Vic, Vic, Ving, Ving Rams. Is it Ving? Ving? Yeah, from Ving Dawn Rams, of the Dead. Yeah. Ving Rams. Just get rocking up with a get machine gun leg. Get shooting. Piranhas from his leg. Oh, amazing. How very Rose McGowan. Just amazing. Mm. Yeah, very person. planet Terra. Imagine how person. tired we are. She, I She's... didn't say that to her, though. I Your camera's her. blurry. Yeah, I know, because I've gone far away. But then Rank when I do life. this, Yutaka goes, go back. Um, so, no, but Rose McGowan's coming to our to our thing. In She's very, she was actually really sweet. But I'm fuming because yeah, sure. Nev's definitely not coming because I checked on 17th of November. She's in Atlanta at the um, monster thing. Monster the monster. Yeah. I'm just so sad. Anyway, she was the weekend barely... before that, darling. Don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. The fact that she laughed at the Sydney, like, I was like, oh, like she was really sweet. Yeah. It was It was the Portia? Because <laughs> I was like, when, okay, so when Portia walks up to her, she was like, Portia? I was like, <laughs> we love Portia her. Portia Debrasi. <laughs> She's like, sure, yeah, yeah. And oh my god, but um Lillard, Matthew Lillard was Nick was saying think I get high. Yeah. Baby, Matthew Lillard was talking about Justin Bieber. He was painting the nails on the poster that he was at. He was having the best time. 
he was having the best time, and I love that. He's got the chaotic energy, hasn't he? Jamie Kennedy, though, like he was, he was taking selfies on his phone. He was. <laughs> I don't know if like he'll be. Let me find it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Like if I hold it up to the screen, but let me see. He was having a great time. No, but my favorite was. So- my favorite was Tommy Doyle. <gasps> yeah, he was yeah. genuinely the sweet. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, he took his phone. He was okay. just like taking selfies and all. That. But like, he would genuinely like. If I ever get what's to a convention and he's there, I will get in line every time just to meet him. Yeah, every yeah. time I will see him. It was the how long have you guys been together? That's that's what cemented. Like that's what that really, shit took me out. That's what really was like. You know what? I love you. I'm in love with. You. <laughs> But everyone else who says that, you hate, how dare you? No, but the way he said it, he because he was so sweet about it, he was just like... Yeah, just like, oh, like He was so earnest. He was like, so how long have you guys been together? And I was about to be like, oh, a year and a half. <laughs> I just wanted to continue <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> but he was so nice, though, because, like, like, and I kind of felt a little bit bad, though, because when, like, David was, like, talking about how much he loved Halloween Kills, and, like, obviously, I didn't used to like it. Like, I've come around on it a little bit. I still think it's mm, whatever. But... um. He was so grateful and thankful that we liked the movie because he's like, you know, the internet and they didn't like the movie. But and I was like, oh, you know, you know, it's fine. And he's he's like, oh my god, that's my shit. <laughs> and then he's like, but did you see that new one, Halloween Ends? And then David looks at me and he's like, don't say that in front of him because he is a Halloween Ends stamp. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love that I was able to like vent my love for that movie to him because I was like, y'all, like you don't understand. <laughs> It's a struggle to love that movie. Sometimes. Like I, he was just so sweet. Like he was genuinely like so grateful that like truly like he was like he gave us free autographs, free huh. autographs and a shirt and all that. Oh yay! Like he even like did the ah. It was mm-hmm. very sweet. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. cute. Okay, well thanks for that tangent. Um, anything else on Piranha <laughs> Three <laughs> Double D? Um, no, no, no it, I'm fine. No. Um, just okay. Kelly Brooks tits. Yeah. Um, yeah. We love to see it. I can. Okay. Oh, actually, I did see Kelly Brooks tits again. Um, while while I was on my break from here, I went down to Bedford for a thirtieth birthday party. Um, <laughs> she was the tripping. venue that my friend, <laughs> no, the venue that my friend had picked. Um, it was a bit, a bit ropey. Um, Oof, was it common? And then it I went what? to the toilet. Ropey, a bit, a bit ropey. Common. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, common. Um, <laughs> went upstairs, and the room part of the club that he'd booked. Um, that we had was like it was like decked out like a 90s strip club um it was all That's like glitter walls white and black furniture but then when you went in the toilet on the front of the toilet all of the pictures were page three pictures from the 80s and 90s so um Ooh. when you walked in for a piss there was just kelly brook and her tits i love that i had to look up yeah that it was fun she had like a little bit of a career, like in the America thing, but then like kind of just disappeared a bit. Like you um, know, she did. She did. Per, she did Piranha, and then nothing else. Who was the other one who had a career over there? That kind of oh, um, the one who Catherine Zeta Jones took out. Oh, what's her name? Um, took out. Yeah, like she Penelope was. Cruz. No, she's British. Um, oh, she was in Ab Fab. Penelope she was like, Cruz. Oh, what was her in, name? In nine. Is it like Mimi something? Have y'all seen Mimi nine? first? We. I like nine. I thought you were talking about Kelly LeBrock. Nine is in. No, no, Kelly Brook. Kelly Brook. Yeah. Do y'all know who Kelly LeBrock is? No. No. Weird Science. Oh, from Weird Science. Yeah, the one that they create with the computer sheet. Ooh, that is hot. Sorry. Um, David, what's your next next pick, please? And your final pick. The choices. Well, mine is. Triangle from 2009. Okay, not an it's 80s. A great, oh, great. Oh, yes. Oh, oh God, right. God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the speakeasies. Anyway, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's it's like... gin. <laughs> Anywho, um, what you call it? It's triangle. Okay, so basically, mm-hmm. like they these group of people go into like they, they want to sail. It's a beautiful day and all that stuff, and then they're they get like shipwrecked, and then. Another ship comes by, not the Nazi ship. This is a different ship, but another ship drops by and all that stuff. And then they go in, but what they don't realize is that there's like a, a killer in the ship. I guess it's abandoned, but there's a killer in there. And so, this people get people are getting murdered, but when they get to the last person, it starts all over again. So it's like a mind because you're trying to figure out who the f- is this person, and it's a psychological thing because you 
I had to watch the movie three times to understand what the f- is going on, but it was very entertaining. Was is like, that like Happy Death Day? I'm gonna say kind yeah. of, kind of, but there is something. But yeah, but when you figure out who's killing and the reason why they're killing is f- up because you're like trying to figure out how the f- are they gonna get out of this loop because they the killer always wins. So it's like a weird psychological. It's like, but then there's like a whole like there's like an abuse situation going on because. Because the mom, before she goes sailing, she drops the kid off at school. But then there's something involved with the kid. I don't want to spoil it because I'm sure there's somebody that really wants to see it. But it's like a whole thing where it's like, in order to solve that, you have to solve what's going on before they got into the ship. Right. So it's a whole, like, she's just running around, poor thing, just running around trying to figure out who this guy is. And when they find out, it's like, it's a sad ending. It's a really, like, a really f***ed up ending. But it's so interesting because you really, like, it's a murder mystery. So you're trying to figure out, figure out who is doing all the killings. And they're in a the sack. It's kind of like 1975. Uh, 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 Fear Street. Fear Street, like Street, the yeah. sack and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. And all that stuff. And the ship, the decor on the ship is so... Because it looks abandoned, but it still has, like, the fruit. Like, the fruit from the buffet is, like, rotting. And it's, like, but the mm. lighting is still beautiful. It's very sexy. Like, I love the aesthetic of the movie. But it's I have to watch so... That. 2009, did you say? Yes. 2009 Triangle. I saw it mm-hmm. on accident one, di- one night. And I was, like, so good. Sorry, yeah. by accident. Not on accident. Um... So my next proper English, correct English. Um, so my last proper. pick, um, we mentioned it, and I'm gonna say it because unlike most people, I'm not trying to make anything new or cool on here. I'm just gonna be, I just want to be me. Um, and it's Ghost Ship because it was the first horror film I ever saw that I remember seeing, and seeing Francesca whip out her breasts to try and seduce that guy. And that song is Sense of Phoenix. It's just so good. I listen to it all the time. Um, I think it's John Murphy, or who, the guy who did the the soundtrack, the score when they find someone's body. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but in, in the water tank. And it's like, <laughs> it sounds a bit like um, the song at the end of what's that film with the monsters, The Mist? Um, it's so good. Also, um, the woman from The Good Wife, Julianne Moore. No, not Julianne Moore. <laughs> <laughs> not julianne moore um what's her uh, funny nick uh uh <laughs> oh he's having a blast over there. <laughs> what happened I sent, him, I sent him a picture of me naked that's <laughs> okay. what happened enough to tip anyone okay. off for the insanity i don't know what took me out <laughs> because <laughs> it was just so good it made you cry um but yeah who's that woman um julianne margulies is it julianne margulies yeah, yeah, yeah she was great in that film <laughs> um and the flashback scene is one of my favorite scenes in any movie when a little emily brown is like i want to show you something and then the mu- the song in that killer crawls on the holy walls oh it's so you gotta talk about the opening oh well i mean one of the most iconic openings of all time and i Still don't understand how she wasn't killed because that cut some of those people right in half at the stern. And she's she's just would have so... been fine, I... but I mean, <laughs> well, she was the same height, yeah, yeah but she didn't get yeah. killed at all. But then there were people who was like got the there were half people, of their body. There were people who were cut, cut here. There was people who were cut here. I understand height who difference were cut down from like yeah. the knee. But she was isn't like... that the little girl from I've never seen this movie, but punch. isn't she the Silent Hill? Emily Browning? No, no, I don't think so. Wasn't she? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 I know. I, 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 Wasn't yeah, she in that yeah, movie that I saw? I saw uh, uh, the one that she's like the sister's dead at the end. The uninvited. Uh, the uninvited. Is that her, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then um, yeah. Lemony. She has this like Susan porcelain doll. Yeah. She has this like beautiful oh, like that face movie. that is like really. Yeah. yeah. She, she was really a series of unfortunate events. Series of unfortunate events. Yeah, she was in that Pompeii as well, wasn't she? Yes, yeah, she was. She was. She was great. I really liked Emily Brown. When they tried to give her something, um, when they tried to make her a, a love interest. Yeah, it didn't work. She was great in yeah. Super Punch, though, as Baby Doll. Um, but anyway, yeah, Ghost Ship to me is just, well, I don't understand. It's got like 3% on Rotten Tomatoes, which to me is like a joke. Um, or like 6%. I'm like, it's, to me, an iconic movie. Uh, just and the end. It's just, I love noughties horror movies and that to me is like naughty zero zero not noughties and like mm, like noughties 2000s that's what we call it in the uk noughties noughties because zero zeros um but yeah fantastic film if you haven't seen it go and watch it it's like two pound on um youtube 
like to rent, but it's just oh god, or arrows. So good. I used to fancy that uh, my sexual awakening was the blonde guy, and I was like, oh yeah, with the vest, the white vest. He's like the blonde. Oh, it's a bit dirty. So wasn't the the person from the Dominican in the grey vest? I liked him too. And to be fair, I liked I liked the other guy with the raincoat who came into like who found the ship. It was like oh, because he was a bit like you know. Ooh. To be fair, I liked everyone, even the old man. Tony O'Grasa. Um, so yeah, go and watch that film if you haven't. It's fantastic. It's amazing. And Nick, before I say like wrap up, did you want to reel off any ones quickly? Because you were like, I'm going to say a few more. Super quickly. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> One of my favorite movies of all time, The Fog by John Carpenter. If mm-hmm. you haven't seen it, go see it because it is aesthetic. It is mood. It is atmosphere. And listen, I, Halloween, my favorite movie of all time. But the, the soundtrack to The, to the Fog, Everything, everything, Meh. top tier. Uh, your mother. Um, let's see. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Deep Rising. Hi, Deep Rising. Oh. Yeah. With the beautiful, however you say her name, Famka Janssen or whatever. Gorgeous. Famka Janssen. That's it. Um, George, you'll appreciate this one. A movie that made me want to punch somebody. Uh, Donkey Punch. Yes, I was going to say it. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. Movie Jimmy Winston wild. for the win. Yeah, it'll make you so mad, but it is so good. Yeah, um, <laughs> that ending. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Open water. Yeah. Um, horrible. Don't do it if you don't want to go into shock. Horrible, mm-hmm. horrible, horrible. I, I, um, I, 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 um, one I like of it. the worst movies that I have ever seen. The Deep House. I reacted to it on my channel. Yeah, horrible movie. Mm-hmm. Horrible, horrible. I, that's movie. when we first started talking, actually. Because I remember that I DM'd and I was like, "Hey, you should watch the inside because the same is the same director, very yeah, good you. movie." And I remember that was a first, oh my god, it was one of our first like fuck you and your mustache. You well, um, <laughs> one of one of the greatest movies ever made, Jaws four, The Revenge. Ah, oh, yes, you'll oh, remember oh, it. You'll remember it by when the when the shark comes out of the water and roars. Yeah, because sharks can do yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um. Bro. Crawl, which is a Crawls. good alligator movie. Yeah. And then the only other one I want to... Shut up. <laughs> that brings us to the end of an episode. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, this morning, or this afternoon, or whatever time it is where you are. We hope you enjoyed this exciting, thrilling, eventful episode. I was joined today by Nick Says Boo. Say something. Boo. Yeah. I oh, was joined today um, by you've said no, we've missed it now. Um, I was joined today by Liam Boyack. Uh boo. And I was joined today by <laughs> ZZ Avid. That's right. And you can join me in my endeavors of life as I'm going in my new chapter in life mm-hmm. as a motivational speaker. Is he top beat act? Yeah. I would love Could to. Could you see imagine me as a motivational speaker? Like a TED Talk? <laughs> Nice to have y'all here. Yes. Happy to be here. No. What is that thing on top of your um, desk, like that pink thing going on that you've got everything sat on, on your desk behind you? This? Like that, that red, the rose? Yeah, like the thing on the, is the top of the desk red or is it like? Oh, it's like a runner. Okay. Um, So thank you everyone. Why don't you mind your business, Um, it's just a, it's just a runner. It's just a beautiful. Um, so, <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of this content, you can head over to our Patreon.com. It's link in the description below. It's the Horror Hour TV. You get access, early access to episodes. You get access to the After Hours podcast watch alongs. We just watched Prom Night the last time, so the next one I believe is going to be stuff for, that Liam hasn't seen. Um, so we'll be making a list there um, shortly. It's the last Saturday of every month, and there's oh my god, there's live streams. As well, um, obviously Nick was here and Nick's kind of joining. But again, I really talk too much. If somebody doesn't know where you are, apart from here, where can they find you? You can Rinder. find me on. Uh, you can find me in Manhattan. Someone New report York, that for the next couple of days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill a. B- <laughs> um, you can find me on YouTube at Nick Says Boo on Patreon at Nick Says Boo, uh, Instagram at Nick Says Boo, and Twitter slash X at Nick Says Boo. And occasionally, when you talk, is not here on the horror hour. And the OnlyFans? Yes. 
nobody would pick. Nick it. says, "Ooh." Um, so <laughs> well, that is a good. That is a good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, head over to the after hours right now, and we will see you guys later. Bye bye. 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 Oh my god, I thought I didn't. Rec- you have been listening to the horror hour. See you next time.